Hello, it's Nancy today. Did you ever play Sudoku? Do you like Sudoku with them? Well, I do. <laughs> Can you read what it says on your book? Okay, it Some says... Some of them are too easy. It says here... Hmm. On the outside, was it? On the cover? On the cover. Men's Absolutely Nasty Sudoku Level 4. What does it say on the back? Uh, it says, only the most skilled Sudoku experts should try these mind-blowing puzzles. Make no mistake about it, some of the hardest Sudoku ever created are presented in this absolutely nasty series. Mere, mere Sudoku enthusiasts are strongly advised against trying to fill even one of the grids as frustration and pencil biting will occur. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. What else? Okay. And please, for pity's sake, neophytes shouldn't even bother to open the cover. These brain-baffling puzzles should be attempted only by the best and brightest Sudoku solvers. If you think you're up to the challenges, proceed at your own risk. At level 4, even the fearless approach the mind melders inside with trepidation. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and and what, what makes these different from a regular Sudoku? Um, the harder. <laughs> <laughs> so have you got a technique? Um, well, I suppose, yeah. But, uh, it's kind of difficult to explain. So what do you do if you can't figure out what goes in the spot? Well, you see, first of all, if there's only two possibilities for a square, I always mark it down because it can always come handy in, 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 in solving something later. So here we have a 1 and a 5 in this little square. That means only a 1 or a 5 can stand there, you see? And it can come in handy later by so and so on. Also, when I... I don't have it here, but when... Uh, I absolutely stuck. I have to make an assumption, and so I put in a in a, in a right bottom corner. You see, this is the, the the left top corner. In the right bottom corner, I put in a. I say suppose it's, suppose this can only be a one or a five. Say I suppose I make an assumption that it's a five. I put a five here, and it's a little circle around it, knowing that this is the assumption. And I start filling in all the conclusions in the right bottom corner. You see. And if I can't do contradiction, then I know that it's wrong. Then I erase all the right bottom corners. And this is no longer a 5, so it has to be a 1. So then I rub it out and make it into a 1. And then and I proceed. And so it was the right assumption, and you can solve it. Or you have to make a second assumption. <laughs> can I see your eraser? Uh, this one is kind of done. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be very difficult to rub it out. I have to get, I have to buy lots of erasers, I guess. But you know, I don't, I don't. Okay, I'm not at that stage yet where I make assumptions. You mean where you make them without mistakes? No. You're not at the stage where. Oh, you're not making assumptions, making assumptions at the map. In, in the stage of this particular puzzle. Oh, I, I, I see. I make, uh, yeah. Anyway. So there you go. I have sold three of those absolutely nasty, wicked, or whatever they call them, Sudoku <laughs> <laughs> since yesterday. Well, there you go. If you want to try a Sudoku, and there's your card, here's, <laughs> here's the book. Mensa, official Mensa.